a surprise again. Big up third one the video, you understand? And the biggest video in the whole world. Check out Mr. Surprise Bunny, you understand? You hear me now? Over the park with you, you know. And thing in the whole of vibes, you know. I don't know a seven star production, Ringo Star there, and the whole crew. You understand me? I say the big machine this, as you can see. You understand me? I say, and big up to the next sound them. Black Star and Super Tough. You know, that like Jamaica Independent Day, everything wonderful. You know me, I say, just a memory of Jamaica and thing, and you know, one love to all our people, them are good. You understand me, I say, so my selector here, come talk to my selector, because I move, move like him shy. My selector move like him shy a little bit. Make, make your voice be heard, man, big up yourself and wear it. Mad, you don't know, I listen to my name. You know my brother Ringo, Father Natty, Father Jacko, and my brother, you see it. Everybody there, I don't know, the big machine, everything set up, everything good. Now watch that, man, later on, mad crazy thing. Just keep it locked to 49 Independence of Jamaica, you see it. So right now, I'm going to turn over to my next selector friend, Atta Blaze. Yeah, everything locked in, that's nothing. A seven star line, so we're there, go on easy. Look at how we're going to turn it up, everything good about it. See, father, yeah, Jack out there, same way. Everything all right, nothing, that's nothing. The whole clip there, everything locked in, everything good. Hey, this is Brooklyn here with Pamela, the host of the Independence Day, Jamaican Independence Day, the 49th. How are you doing, Pamela? I'm doing fabulously right now. How do you feel? It's a wonderful day out here. You've been doing a great job as well. Very proudly. Right. There we go. Comes this beautiful little girl. What is her name? Olivia. Very nice, Olivia. Are you from Kingston? Oh. oh, thank you so much. I didn't really come here to do this, but the thing is, we actually have uh, an organization, it's called CJLA, okay. Celebrate Jamaica LA, and we actually advertise the events for the Jamaican Independence Weekend. Okay. And our normal host, his name is Leo Gillen, he went to Jamaica for another event. Okay. So I came in just now from church, which is another <laughs> event that we did this morning, okay. and um, there's nobody to do it, so I'm... Just like, jump in. Just well, that's it. great. Do it. Exactly. Well, you know what? You've been doing a great job. We want to thank you for your great hostess skills. I'm kind of curious. I mean, I'm really curious about what's in the bag. Oh, this is my goodie bag. I'm actually giving away Jamaican stuff. I have a lanyard. Nice. Nice. We have magnets. I'm going to have to get some of those. Upside down. Okay. And we have these lovely bracelets that we're giving out as well. Cool. So, so that's what we have in our pretty bag. We ask questions and we give it away. Okay, cool. So with a novice like myself that don't really know a lot about Jamaican culture and the art, is there a way that I can just get like a free answer? Uh, you'd have to do, you must know something about Jamaica. Uh, Hussein Bolt, I love you, man. Uh, he did win. Yeah. There we go. See? See? I know something about Jamaica. Hey, 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 this is Jazzy with The Business Magazine, and we're here at Dorsey Park today celebrating the 49th annual Jamaican Festival. Here we have Damien. Tell yeah. us about yourself. Originally known as Boba British, Damien from Kingston, Jamaica. I'm just here in LA 13 years now, still doing my thing, and I appreciate the love and the support that I have from everybody. Of course, of course. So. Tell us, when's your next event that we can be expecting? That'll be the 3rd of September. That's called the Paparazzi Affair, and that's where you have the most elegant affair reggae parties in L.A. at Club Showcase 7430 Western Ave. Y'all invited. Come out and check it out. And that's where we have media coverage from Jamaica, New York, Miami, and L.A. Thank you. Thank you so much. We would love to join you. Let me. Uh, we just want to know your thoughts on the Jamaican independence. Well, we're very, very happy to be here, Isaac and I, and uh, we think it's a great event. It's very important for different communities to get together and just showcase their culture. Yeah, no problem. Obviously, as Africans, we certainly identify with Jamaica in various ways. We share their feeling as they separate, uh, celebrate their independence. I mean, we, we see them as our brothers and sisters who were, you know, plugged away from the motherland 
to be scattered all over. So wherever they are, our love goes to them, our, our, our appreciation goes to them, and we, we want to celebrate with them. In, the, in that vein also, on the 3rd of September, we are organizing the African Soccer Tournament for all Africans in the diaspora. And this is happening at the John Ferraro Soccer Fields, close by the LA Zoo. Um, and, and if you are not sure, by the Griffiths Park. And it's going to be very, very huge. We have Jamaica coming, South Africa coming, Zambia, Ghana, um, Uganda, you name it. About 24 countries are coming. So as many people are going to be there, and it will be a fantastic celebration. Do you guys have a website we can go to so we can get some more information? Absolutely. Uh, it's not only on the website. If you look in the African Trumpet, we are right in the newspaper African Trumpet. And also the Carib Press, it's a Caribbean press. We are in there. When you go to Vuvuzela, that is V U V U Z E L A M M dot com. Right there, we are blasted with all the teams. Okay, great. We look forward to being at that event. Oh my goodness, it sounds wonderful. Special, another artist. We got my boy here, Lamar. What's going on, man? How you doing, my brother? I'm good. Man, I'm good, man. I'm good, man. So, uh, we want to know how does it feel to be at the Jamaican Independence, man? Uh, it's always been so, so amazing yeah. to be around Jamaicans. Yeah. With the reggae music yeah, and yeah. the people that that carry the boom sound, you yeah. know. And we love to hear it all the while, you know, yeah, just like yeah. never ending, you uh -huh. know, that sound just take you away, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Indeed. Man, what's popping, man? What's going on with you, man? Why, everything good. We have life and strength, and we, we live to see the 49th anniversary for Jamaica independence. Yeah. You see what I say? Most so more life, man. you know? Most definitely, man. When I first saw you coming in, man, I got to check out the boots, man. Like, the boots is hot, man. I need to know exactly where you got. <laughs> man, just straight Gucci. Yeah. Man, I'm a huge fan of Gucci, man. I'm really liking your style, but man, tell me about Out the Gate, man. It was, Out the Gate is one of the biggest films since Dancehall Queen and Shutters, you know? Okay. And um, it's a Caribbean-American film. We shot in L.A. Okay. We shot in Jamaica, you know what I'm saying? Okay. So we, we're planning to take Caribbean movie to the world, you know what I mean? You're right. You're so, right. so we're the future Hollywood Caribbean star, you see it? That's what's up, that's what's up. And you're also a performer. You're not only an, an actor, but you're also a uh, music artist so tell us more about that as well yeah it started first with the music and i mean okay. from church and then coming to la uh -huh. put out two albums in japan okay. so now now we had a number one song called revolution which okay. was a, which was like a, a movie okay. and then we create the movie after that so right the music is the first thing you know what i mean uh -huh. yeah okay. music is love man and also music plus politics plus fashion equals just a biz and uh we have to do this for every single artist that comes in. You got to give us some type of little freestyle, just something, a little sneak peek of what's going to be popping off with your new album and also out the gate. Right now, what I'm doing, I like the world. In the club, Mr. Peen will clean beer hogs, because we got the money green. Fire him up, play some Bob Marley. At the time I look around, a sexy girl I call me. She say, E, can you teach me how to doggy? Me say, No, me no know how to doggy. Real bad man, them no in a doggy doggy. So look for me, girl, you know, see a doggy. So me say, Wine pony body. What? Wine pony body. Wine pony body. Yeah. Man, pull 